Hello, good evening. Carlos, Carlos Antonio, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm very good. Thank you. Nice Everything is fine. Excellent, so glad to hear it. Me too, teacher. Well, today is our last day. What are we supposed Time. to do today? <clears throat> oh well, we are going to finish working with the with the manual. We have some activities still pending in the manual. And we are going to do the the final survey. We got us conversation. Many things. We got plenty of stuff. Are you going to be our next coach for the yeah. next course? Not sure yet. To be honest, not sure yet. Yeah, I, I was wondering who is going to be the next one. The one who's going to guide them. Us. I'm sorry? I was wondering who is going to be our next teacher. That's why I ask you. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know yet. Yeah, because we have learned a lot with you. And that's so great. Glad, so glad to hear it. So glad to hear it. That's the idea. I mean, the idea is for you to learn as much as possible. Yeah. To be honest, uh, in the first time, uh, I was a little bit nervous, but now... I'm I'm okay with you. I'm so con comfortable. Something uh, is yeah. is that way. How can I say that word? Yeah, comfortable. Yeah, I mean it's normal. And of course, if you get another teacher, it will get it will take a little bit of time to get acquainted with perhaps styles. You know, everybody's got a different style of teaching. But well, uh, the teachers that work here in the company they are pretty good. So. Okay. You don't have to worry for that. I'm sure you're gonna get a good one. Perhaps okay. Perhaps you say uh, to be honest, I'm not agree with something with you. That you are the Grinch of the Christmas. That's the only thing that I really, really yeah, like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just that it's not my style, you know. I mean, it's good. Christmas is nice, but uh, it's just not my celebration, you know. No, no, I'm not really that much into it. That's the thing. Yeah, you said you said that in the pe in the previous class that you don't believe in in the day where Jesus born, but you you oh, believe, no, but, but no in in. Yeah, it's just that I don't believe in there. No, it's not that I don't believe. It's just that celebrations are not my thing. That's really okay. The, I understand the situation. Celebration is. Not know what I am into. That's all. You're not used to it. Yeah. To celebrate no. Christmas. No, not really, not really. But I mean, everybody's got a different thing, right? The only thing that I really like that we're going to receive more money from from the work. Oh yeah, of course, of course, the Christmas bonus. Bonus, that's how you call it. Yeah, bonus. Christmas bonus. Okay. Yeah, of course, the Christmas bonus is something good. That's 
one big reason to celebrate <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, that's another reason to get happy, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. It's nice to hear you, teacher. Oh, no, it's nice to have you here. You know, it's always good when everybody's early. I feel happy because we can start working fast. Nice having you. Welcome. Thank you. Ingrid, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. It's great. I am great. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Today is very good. <clears throat> I was, today was good. Okay. And tell me, what's your plan for these days that you are not having class? Um, um, rest rest in my at home or maybe room uh, at night okay resting at home that's cool so yeah. you're not gonna go party and stuff like that no teacher <laughs> i don't know come on no my first play play Plan, plan, plan. plan is, is resting at home. Uh, uh, I don't know my my boyfriend going the country. Oh, and, he's gonna come. Um, yes. Oh, that's great. Yes, maybe. Uh, we will we go. Uh huh. And uh, whatever place, but I don't know. <laughs> you don't know yet. Yes, uh, but um, I had vacation two week, um, um, but I don't have plan today. Plans. Plans today. Okay. Well, I mean. Yes. Resting is always good. And yes, to, to go out at this time of the year is something heavy, right? It's necessary. <laughs> yeah. It's I don't like <clears throat> I don't like the party or maybe I like when it's no cuando no son todos los días, teacher. When 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 it is not every day. When it is not every day, maybe I like when uh, Friday and um, one month other party, but when it's every day, I don't like. You understand? Yeah, I mean, to party once in a while, it's okay, right? Yes. But every day feels heavy. Yes, teacher. I don't, I don't like de no me gusta la sensación de sentirme eh, eh, adormitada oh you don't like that feeling yeah. to feel I don't like to feel sleepless oh, okay. but I don't like this this feeling yeah yeah of course yeah to be the next day like ah uh, yes I don't re repose repose I don't rest rest, rest. I don't rest the the energy. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't get it back. Then. I mean, yes. it's not that easy, right? I prefer stay. I prefer be here in my house. To be here. To be home. here at home. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, to rest, to enjoy being at home, it's always good, right? <clears throat> watch the movie or whatever but at yeah. home to get comfy clothing yes. relax a little bit turn on the tv yeah yeah i understand yes teacher 
I understand you totally, totally. Yeah, it's a good feeling, right? Yes. <laughs> Do you have any plan? Any plans? I don't know. I don't know. Well, the 17th, I have to go to Japan because my son's <coughs> got to fight. He's got a fight in, in Japan. When uh, when you go out the vacation? Well, now uh, with you guys, I finished today. My yeah. other job, I finished uh, uh, last week. Uh, 16. No, last week. Ah, last week. Uh -huh. Yeah. And my other two jobs, I finished one the 17th, one the 18th. Uh -huh. the 18th. And then nice. I'm like totally free because I still, I'm still missing this weekend and next one. Uh, and where is the date the comeback or come the the work? January. Well, actually, it's January the sixth, but uh, on January the third, I have a meeting. So, uh, it's very bad this day. <laughs> yeah, you know what can we do? Yes, but what else? Yeah, I mean, that's the way it goes. As soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But anyway, hey, Ingrid, nice having you here as usual. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Okay, guys, let's see. Tonight we are having the survey. Don't forget it. Let me see, I'm checking a little something here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we are doing good, we are doing good. Okay, let's see, who else is around? Hey, Orlando, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine, here, happy and ready. What about yeah, you? Me too, I'm about to start my training tomorrow and i'm so happy oh, I'm so, so we're right on time you, we finish tonight and tomorrow you are like free that's yeah. cool yeah yeah uh, um but i'm i feel a little bit nervous for that but i i think it's I'm, normal it's normal don't worry about it yeah because sometimes i i'm thinking that i forgot all that i learned about the language and oh my goodness what happened to me so I think yeah. I will learn too much and I need to learn as much as I can as soon as possible to improve like that. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it's normal to feel like that, don't worry. I mean, yeah. but after a while, you will see that you will be like getting it like yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, every beginning is different. Uh, you got mm -hmm. to to adapt to a new rhythm of working and stuff. Yeah, it's but, a different challenge. Yeah, so. of course. Yeah. But it, it's not a big deal. I mean, if you are in it because you can do it. Yeah. Uh, that I was thinking last days and I was, oh my goodness, I get the job and I need to do my best to get this job, to doing well all things. So I can do it. Yeah, yeah, I have a co-worker who is who just started working in a in for a call center, but uh, it's on a it's as a translator. Ah, oh, yeah, I saw I saw too much post in a group of Facebook that is specifically for people that is in a call center, and I think Teleperformance has that account. That is, is uh, for interpreters or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, but that's a whole different story. Yeah, but you need to know exactly how to write and how to uh, comprehensive all things. Yeah, yeah. Understand and comprehend. Understand. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a different type of job. I mean, it's something that you need to get 
practice on. I mean, even if you know how to speak the language, it's another ability, it's another skill that you need to develop. Yeah, I mean, sure. And it's cool. It's it's actually a very good experience. The only yeah. thing is that it's a different effort, a different. Uh, you have to have a different frame, mind frame, in order to 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 approach that. But yeah. It's cool. I mean, it's a good experience, and it's good money. Yeah, it's, that's true. Well, I don't know about the pace for that account, but I think it's up to eight hundred. I think. Yeah, and you know, some of those accounts. The good thing is this: that uh, I mean, they you can connect. I mean, you have a special, but you can take your break whenever you want and you just disconnect and sometimes you're just waiting for calls it's different you can get one day you can get like 20 calls and the next day you can get just like 10 some calls are like a minute two minutes some calls are like one hour Ooh, yeah uh also i think that you can have the opportunity to walk from your home and that's great if you want to save some money about food, about transportation, that's work for you. Yeah, it, it is a good option. You. Of course. It's a good option. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay, guys. Well, thank you, Orlando. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Let me get the attendance, guys. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Carla Listet García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Thank you, Yesenia. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Yomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Quirón. Present teacher. Okay. Let me just text your classmate. Okay, let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Antonio Rodas, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? I fine, teacher. I am sleeping, okay. but I okay. You're sleepy, but okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, that's nice, that's nice. And tell me, how was your day? It was um, a little busy, teacher, but no, no less than, than yesterday. 
and also uh, this 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 month we have a uh, some activity at the company because we are working the last day before the vacation. Oh, really? That's oh, that's yes. good. I imagine. Yes. For example, today we have free lunch at the company. Oh, that's nice. Yes, this is for the for all employees. That that is because we are around two thousand people. Oh my gosh! Yes, in in the next the next Friday, and will the company will give uh at, at the give give Christmas. Oh really? Yes. This is for all. This is for all all employees too. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yes. The, let me see. From from Monday fifteen. I don't know. What is the day exactly? But the last week is fifteen. I I think fifteen to from fifteen to twenty three December are the last day at the at the company. All days, all people are are different activities. For example, uh, some department enjoy lunch together. Oh, that's cool. What about your day? They buy. In my case, yes, and also uh, the last day. Uh, maybe we we will both buy a lunch. Uh, let me think. But the name is. I don't remember, but and also we will we buy a a, a baker pastel. Oh, a, a cake. That's a cake. A cake. Yes, a cake in in another department. Uh, reventar piñatas. I don't know how do you say. Oh really? You're gonna eat a piñata? Yes, and. In the the almost department, revienta uh, piñatas. Repeat, okay. please, teacher. Or you you text for me, please, teacher. No, it's just you're gonna hit a piñata. Piñata is is the piñata. same word. Ah, okay. You don't change nothing. Okay. Ah, okay, piñata. Yes, and they have lunch special for for each department. That's great. Yes. It's, yeah, a, it's, it's excellent, actually. Yes. But only that, this year. Wow. In, in, so, ah, okay. I, I remind me, in, in my department, we have lodge is churrasco. I don't know. How do you say in English? Churrasco. It's a churrasco. Ah, okay. So this is where our our lunch. Well, you can say a barbecue. You can say a barbecue. Barbecue. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. This is that for 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 my department. And 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 for the let me see. After tomorrow. Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah. Uh, the company give give free lunch at the supervisor. Oh, so that's yeah, what you is, get. This is this is special, especially lunch. In in on Friday, they give uh dinner, but this is far away of the company, maybe at, at the 
near to San Salvador. This is for uh, personal administrative, administrative, como se dice, management. Administrative, no, yeah, administ administrative personal, or you can say management personal. Ah, uh, yeah, this is for the, this is on Friday. This is okay. far away of the company. Yes, they give, they have a, a party maybe in a hotel. Oh, nice. Yes, they almost they they have a pay a, a discoteca in a group. Discoteca? Oh, nice. Yeah, in a single group. Oh wow! So you make a good party. Yes, it's a it's a little beautiful. Okay, well. Thank you for sharing and welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Orlando, I texted you in private here in Zoom. Check it out, please. Okay, let's see who else is around. Oscar, hello, Oscar, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, mister? Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. Thank how you, Gal. Hi. Okay. Um, Thanks, Gal. Thanks, Gal. Thanks, Gal, teacher. Thanks, Gal. Uh, okay. My day is... Um, Relax. A relaxing thing? That's good. Cool. <laughs> yes. So nothing special. What time do you finish working? Um, finish working uh, at 45 uh, p.m. 4.45? 4.45 4.45 p.m. Oh, and nice. arrive home uh, uh, 6 p.m. You arrive home at 6 p.m. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. So you keep busy. Yes. Okay, well, welcome to the class, Oscar. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Josué Ortiz, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Um, tell me, how was your day? Pues, um, today it was very calm down. Chill, chill, very chill. It was cool. Mm, relax because um, I can't, I could rest at, at noon. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and the afternoon I worked there um, there were a lot of customer in the gymnastic in the gym. Oh Okay, so you were busy today. Busy and the afternoon was very busy. Today um, Got arrived um, like 10 new customers. Oh, really? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Five, so... um, yes, tell me, tell me. Six, six of them 
they wanted to inscribirse, I don't know how to say that. Enroll. Enroll, uh -huh. enroll. Six of them wanted to want wanted to enroll with us. That's great. Yes. Excellent, excellent. And good for a business, I imagine. Yes. Okay, great. So glad to hear it. Welcome to the class, Jose. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Wilfredo, hello. Where are you, Wilfredo? I never get to know where you are. Our Japan, right? Yeah, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Working as usual. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. So you you're gonna stay there the whole week. Okay. I'm sorry, Wilfredo. I will make a little pause. Perdón, vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa. Eh, bueno, ha llegado el momento de que nosotros eh, vamos a dar inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Les recuerdo que este es el tercer requisito que Infacorp establece para definir si cada participante ha aprobado o no el este módulo. Les recuerdo nuevamente, los requisitos son nuestra asistencia, el trabajo en la plataforma que tenemos que tener el 80% mínimo y la encuesta de satisfacción. Solicito su atención y el seguimiento de las indicaciones para que su encuesta se envíe sin error. ¿Okay? En primer lugar, vamos a ver un video explicativo para que tengan una idea general de dónde obtendrán la información solicitada y la forma correcta de trasladar dicha información. Denme solo un segundo y se los comparto. Ok, guys. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha 
y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, bueno, veamos. Eh, todos tenemos el enlace de la encuesta, ¿verdad? O sea, que se nos proporcionó en el grupo. Eh, si lo tenemos, déjenme compartirles qué es lo que deben de tener ustedes en este momento. In just a tengo ya preparado. Ok. Estamos hablando. Esta es la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Usted ya sabe, va a poner el número completo a la orden de inicio. Ese nosotros se lo proporcionamos a ustedes. Eh, nombre completo, su nombre completo, tal y cual lo registraron con nosotros. Correo electrónico, igual. Algunos tenemos más de un correo electrónico. Recordemos cuál es el que estamos utilizando para comunicarnos con el SAFOR y con el mes corporativo. Número de celular, nuevamente, que hemos proporcionado sexo femenino masculino, el departamento de residencia, recuerden que acá nosotros vamos a escoger cuál es el que nos corresponde, el municipio lo vamos a escribir, la empresa, recordemos nosotros, acá estamos hablando de la razón social, el nombre del proveedor, pues ustedes van a buscar acá y se recuerdan que nosotros somos inglés corporativo Regal International. Eh, nombre del curso, igual, está ahí Aparece en comillas, mayúsculas, tal y cual está. Por eso a lo mejor es copiar y pegarlo. Luego usted va a poner acá sus valoraciones, como considera el tiempo, el contenido, las opciones y herramientas. Tiene acá las diferentes opciones. ¿verdad? La fecha de inicio y fecha de finalización, nosotros se la brindamos también. En el mensaje que nos enviaron al grupo de WhatsApp, ahí la tenemos. Si alguien tiene dudas luego, yo con gusto les ayudo. El nivel de satisfacción. Okay. Acá. Hago la aclaración. En el punto 14, ustedes van a marcar satisfecho o insatisfecho. Les aclaro que en este punto no se refiere a cómo usted se siente con usted mismo por haber cumplido o no, a si le parecen o no cosas como el manual o el tener que tener la cámara en vida, 
o quizás alguna acción de los compañeros, o quizás por, por la conexión de internet, se refiere única y exclusivamente a cómo he impartido la clase pedagógicamente, académicamente. ¿okay? Y a cómo nuestro equipo administrativo pues está apoyado en cada uno de los procesos. Obviamente, ¿verdad? Usted va a seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones. Si usted selecciona la opción insatisfecho, nosotros nos damos por enterados de que no va a proceder la inscripción al siguiente módulo. Y no olvidemos la captura de pantalla. Ok, podemos comenzar. Vamos a estar pendientes ahí. No se les olvide, la captura de pantalla debe de llevar el nombre de cada uno. Por favor, si tenemos dudas con alguno de los datos, pues me avisan y con gusto. Cuestión, teacher. Eh, sí, el número, el, cuando empezamos a poner el número, solo ponemos el número, ponemos el N0 de un solo. O solo el número. hablando de la orden de... La inicio. primera. Ajá. Vaya, la orden... Solo de... ponemos el 20, el 20, los números cabales. Y lo que sí, yo necesito... De, tal y cual está ahí. Eh, lo tenemos ahí en el, en el mensaje que nos enviaron. Si lo quiere copiar y pegar. Acá, okay. tal y cual se los he puesto. Thank you. Se los comparto también acá en el chat de Zoom, por si alguien tiene dudas con la orden de inicio. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. El curso, les recuerdo, se llama Inglés Intermedio, módulo 1, copiemos y peguemos, incluyendo la comillas. Nuevamente se los comparto acá por si alguien tiene dificultades con ello. Veamos, Ingrid ya me envió. A Iván también. Perfecto, excelente. Recordemos, las fechas de inicio. Iniciamos el 31 de octubre y finalizamos el 6 de diciembre. duda estamos acá tenemos que Teacher, ir. one question hey, we will finish today right yes la fecha de finalización es el día de ahora 06 del 12 recordemos hagámoslo con calma porque si hay algún errorcito pues mañana le vamos a estar llamando para corregirlo porque esta forma nos tiene ya en esta fecha nos tiene corriendo que tenemos que entregar todo hagámoslo tranquilo Cualquier duda, estamos acá para apoyarnos. Thank you, Xiomara. Inglés corporativo Regal Internacional, ¿verdad? Yep, Regal Internacional. Teacher, dígame. Acabo de salir de, de una reunión. Ahorita voy a salir para la casa. Ya llena la encuesta. Me incorporo en la casa porque no ando en mis audífonos. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Oh, sí, ya me envió Magdalena. Excelente, gracias. What is the name of the course, teacher? Acá se nos compartí en el chat de Zoom. Inglés intermedio, módulo 1. Tal y cual está allí, copiemos y peguemos. Teacher, una calidad. pregunta. Dígame, hermano. En mi caso, eh, a mí me trasladaron de, de una planta a otra. Eh, tendría que poner de la planta donde estaba anteriormente. 
eh, la razón social con la que está registrado con nosotros, entiendo yo. ¿Me corrige, Flor, si estamos bien ahí? ¿Hola? Eh, sí, Douglas, eh, debe ser con la razón social con la cual se inscribió. Lo okay. confirmo en este momento como lo tengo, Marlo. Gracias, Flor. Uh, Montecristo. Con esa me inscribí. Ok, con esa lo tengo. Con esa tendríamos que poner. Mm. Me lo puede enviar, sí. por favor, que no me acuerdo con, sinceramente del Montecristo. Con gusto, con gusto, con gusto. Se lo envío aquí por Zoom en privado, ok. Ok, gracias. Sí la tiene ya. Sí, me cayó. Gracias. Hablando, agrégame de su nombre, por favor, nombre completo a la captura. Le voy a agradecer. Gracias. I already did it. Thank you. Ok, Wilfredo, ahorita se la paso. En el nombre del curso, con todas las comillas, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, por favor. Ya le envié, Wilfredo. Hey, sí. Tengo Luis Antonio Abrego, Orlando, Ivania, Magdaleno, Sumara, Ivan, Ingrid. Nelson Antonio, Carlos Elevaldo. La pregunta 15 y 16 es necesario que la contestemos, si no conocemos de otros cursos. Ahí, pues ahí te puede poner, no sé, Excel, eh, algo otra área en la que usted quisiera que la reforzara. Y comentarios no son obligatorias. Los comentarios sí. igual, pues, al no estar marcadas con asterisco, no son obligatorios. Ok. Carlos Antonio Serrano, thank you. Buenos días. Rosalina, thank you.
el número de teléfono igual con el que estamos registrados. Sí, Marlon. Me podría corroborar que tengo dos, no me acuerdo. Sí, Ok. Dele. Okay, let's. Faltan todavía unos tres, pero continúo. Los que están pendientes, si tienen alguna duda, me avisan con gusto de apoyo. Okay. Thank you, Marlon. Okay, well, let's continue. Perfecto. Okay, guys. Let's see who else is on. Oh, well, no, actually, we need to. I dance a little bit with them and. Uh, Okay. Okay, guys, if you remember, uh, we got the difference between will and present progressive. If you remember, uh, we use will when we are talking about future intentions that are decided at the time of speaking. Can you suffer promises and decisions? We're talking about that, right? I will help with the documents. They will ask about the learning options. We will be on time. Remember, spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions. A decision that is taken at the moment. That's when you use will. Present progressive. It is used when plans and arrangements have been made. The manager is flying to Los Angeles for the conference. Okay, we, I was explaining to you the other day that when we use this, it's because it's already planned something that is set already, okay? There's plan, there's arrangement made. So your exercise is this. You have to complete the sentences using a will or the present progressive, okay? You got here 
six sentences. And you are going to complete them either using will or using the present program. For this activity, you are going to be working in small groups of three members. And you will have four minutes to do the exercise. Let me see. Okay, groups are created and open. Hello, guys, working on the sentences? Hello, teacher. Hello, yes. Teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. You finish it, guys? I'm checking to you. Okay, no problem, no problem. Take your time. Okay, this Did you finish long? Hello. 
Almost. Hi. Okay. I finished too, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. We are going to meet in a minute. Uh, well, the number two is um, I will have. I having. Having. I having. Having with. Having oh. I am I am having I'm having Yes I'm having and number three I I will help I will help you yes I will help number four Number four. Number four is is flying. Fly flying. Is flying. Is is fly, is flying. Flying. Mm -hmm. And five will to open. Will come. The owner is coming. 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 And the six will will not work. He isn't working. Isn't you heard working. it? Isn't working the six? Yes. Next week, yes. Isn't working next week. So number. So number two, I am unhappy. Unhappy. Number three. Yes, I'm having. Number three, I will help. Number four. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Number four is. The kitchen, the kitchen manager is flying. Flying. Number five. Will come. Will come. The, the 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 owner is coming mm -hmm. to talk to us about training solution. Mm. Why is okay? Coming. Coming. Why? To me is. Will come. Es como el, el propietario está llegando a hablar, a hablarnos acerca de, de las soluciones de entrenamiento. Pero por qué el, 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 el coming y no will come? Number five. Mm -hmm. Yes, number five. Will, will come, will come in that case, I'm sorry. Will come. Yes. Will come, yes. And six, he, he is in working next week. Uh, finish. 
for me finishes. Okay, let's we'll go back come. to the main room. You said we'll come, teacher. Yeah, in number five, we'll come. The owner will come to talk to us about training solutions. Okay, teacher, thank you. No problem, no problem. Okay, 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 everybody's coming, everybody's coming. That's great, that's great. Okay, perfect. Everybody's here, back again. Oh, before I, I was gonna share with you, but right now let me get the attendance. It's time. Let's see, Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmo. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Holman Saúl Quirón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Ayala Montana. Thank you, Carlos Olivaldo. Carla Lister García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orante. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Vilma Chesteni Alvarenga. Present teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Chamigue Domínguez Fernández. Present teacher. Eh, Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Quirón. Present teacher. Okay. 
before I move on, antes de continuar, dejamos solamente, perdón que hable en español, solamente quiero aclarar una cuestioncita por acá. I'm checking right now in the platform. See. Okay. De los presentes solamente tengo una persona pendiente. Great. Orlando, congrats. Everything cool. Okay, guys. Thank you. Let me continue. Here we go. Okay, guys. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I will have orange juice. I can come with you on Sunday. I, look, I'm going to give the answers to you so you can be just checking. In this case, I am having a training at the restaurant. Number three, you look tired. I will help. I will help you finish the document. It's an offer. Okay. Number four, the kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Number five, the owner will come to talk to us about training solutions. Number six, he is not working or you can make it contractor, right? He isn't working next week. These are the answers. I repeat. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I will have orange juice. I can come with you on Sunday. I am having a training at the restaurant. Number three, you look tired. I will help you finish the document. Number four, the kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Here are the tickets. Number five, the owner will come to talk to us about training solutions. Number six, he is not working next week. Okay, guys. Now, the next exercise we are going to do is uh, a couple of questions. Actually, they are from the manual. In page number 40, exercise one, you got two questions and they are the following one. Let me share them with you. Are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? How do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? All of us, uh, I mean, at that time or another, take a training, right? Uh, related to something that we want to learn about or sometimes because the company says, okay, guys, you are going to take this training. Now, are they implemented only to correct problems with employee performance or do they have other objects? What do you think about it? What's your opinion? How do you evaluate the effectiveness of a training? How do you say, hey, this training is effective, it's good, it's going to work, it's giving me something good, What's your opinion on it? Okay, guys, you will have five minutes to discuss with your classmates, and then I'm going to ask a couple of you about it. I'm sending you to the groups right about now.
हेलो कर्ल माय ओपिनियन आई हैव नॉट रिसीव दैट ट्रेनिंग बिफोर बट आई थिंक इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू to performance mm -hmm. for employees but it's not only for for evaluate e effective training okay in my company is uh... do you do you have a training on your company for performance yes yes, yes. And yeah, because a different kind of command. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I say that our jobs are different. That's why I'm asking you if you have ever received a training. Yes. What do you do for training? Mm, the training is uh, in the years. Uh, I received training in uh, finance, um, mm -hmm. complaints, um, uh, laundry, laundry money, money. Excuse me, laundry money. Only that. What is it about it? When you're talking about laundry money, is is a is a illegal problem. Yes, it's, um, the company is. I I should. Uh, cuidarse. ¿Cómo sería? Take care. Show. Show. Or protect. Protect. For protect the, the laundry money. Uh, there is a no. there is money laundering. Money laundering. Thank you. It's like money this. laundering. It's like this. Let me text to you. Money laundering. Money That's laundering. the expression. Thank you. Lavado de dinero. See, si. it's it's an interesting topic. Open, open my, open my. The different case, the the people, uh, the litos. How do you say the litos? Oh, felonies. Excuse. Crimes. You can say crimes. Uh, crimes. The uh, different crimes. For example, uh, 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 narcotráfico. Drug traffic, drug traffic, um, uh, extortion, extortion, is right? Yeah, extortion, extortions, um, uh, what else? <laughs> Then, uh, you have received a training for to avoid drugs to stay away from crime result and the customer the uh, the the father's customer are very glad with that okay excellent mm -hmm. and you what is your opinion? Okay, in, in my in my corner in my company there are a, a, another training, mm -hmm. not only for not only for for employment problem about employees. They give a training about first aid, primer auxilio, first yeah, first aid. 
fifth, first eight, and last last month they give a charlas too. How do you say charlas, teacher? Speeches. Speeches. about about a violence customer customer viol violence. About let me sing another another. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't remember. But, but recently the company are, are giving are giving training. Recently, recently, recently. recently. Yes, in my case is. It's good. It, yeah, I think that it's okay for every employees because they they have a uh, another knowledge about about different situation in the in the company in the life between another thing. Okay. Nice. 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 Yes, this is my opinion. Okay, Coleman, what is your opinion? Uh, well, in my in my case, are different trainings for for the employee. Uh, because it's a company, it's a company the the dairy products. Uh, are um, trainings about the good 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 safe good safe for and the the. The correct, uh, the correct use. The correct. The correct uh, use of the the products because is very um, delicate. Delicate. Delicate for the uh people people's uh health uh, yeah. there are uh, there are different trainings in but it's more it's more for the persons Person that work with the with the products, uh, the person like the the it depends of the the area of the company. It's it's more it's more for the persons than use the, the products because it's very important uh, the correct use and how do you let the efficacy of training for so the emphasis effectiveness is it's okay because uh, all uh, almost never are problems with the in the in that in that area and the people work nice uh, do do a good job for me it's okay
everybody's coming back, everybody's coming back. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna be first? Okay, what do you think, uh, Antonio Rodas? Tell me, are trainings implemented only to correct problems with employee performance? In my, in my company, in my company, no. Not for implement uh, the problem about employees are training teacher. The and also the company give another training about fears eight about uh, and also they give talks about company politics. And let me see another first first A and in bio, domestic violence. Okay. Yes, the, the, the last week they, they give a talk about it between another talk, but I don't remember because I can't participate teacher, but they the the human resource sent by email where what is the the tip talks that they giving during the day and if you can uh, be present in the in the talks no problem but but if you don't have free time don't can participate this is my case. I don't. I don't have free time to. Oh, okay, to to be on the training. Yes, teacher. But it's important. It's important because they give a talk all employees if it's an, uh, as an obligation. Mandatory. It's mandatory. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carlos Antonio, tell me, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of a training? I can say it's good for employees training opportunities because you can performance or if for the appearance as well, if you get a training, you will be better. If you receive training, it's, it's very effective training for employees. I can give a, a 10, I mean, nine out of 10. Okay, perfect, thank you. Ivan, what about okay. you? When do when can you say that that training has been effective, that it's productive, that it's good? Uh, the the training is a uh, uh, I can I can see uh, uh, efficiencies in the in the in the workings uh, the way the way the employees. Um, uh, Performance, uh, your your working. Their uh, working. Their. their their working. Thank you, teacher. Their working. Their their working. Uh, only that.
Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see the same question um, goes to Carla. When can you say that a training has been affected? That is good. Perhaps not available. Rosalina, hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Rosalina, when do you say that a training is good? Uh, yes, because uh, talking about with my partner, and the training is important because you improve your you know, knowledge. Yes, and, your knowledge. And uh, I help your weakness. Because no, oh, no. Uh, sometimes you don't know uh, act, uh, activities in, in your job. For, for example, when you <clears throat> can a new job, you need to training because maybe don't know how make the activities in your new job. But it's very important the training. But in our case, like uh, another guy don't have a frequently training is few but uh como se dice por uno mismo ourselves yes yes ourselves in training because you need to know about your, your activities in in how do you say ponerse al día um be up to date be up to date uh -huh because the our our life is very changing for technology and then for me it's very important training okay thank you you're welcome teacher. and the last one let's see orlando when do you say that a training has been productive huh. let's see i will read question here. Adi, Can you repeat the question, please? Sure. The question says, how do you evaluate the effectiveness of training? Oh, no, I heard. I listen to other things. Okay. Um, it's very important because it's uh, it's like the first question that we have right now, but <clears throat> I told to Rosalina, if if you start a new job, for example, the, the job that I would start tomorrow, if I didn't put attention, I'm sorry, if I don't put attention and all the trainer is telling me in the class, at the end of the training, I will know nothing about all the instruction that he gave me before. So that's me that the training can rate you, for example, from one to 10, how much did you learn through all your learning, through all your training as well. So you need to put attention to all the instruction. To pay attention, pay attention. Thank you. you. You need to pay attention to all the instruction that your trainer give you at that moment because that will prove your effectiveness for your future job. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I got a couple of questions that we are going to be discussing as groups. But let me check on something. Okay, no, but before we do that, we need, I'm sorry, I was checking my lesson. We need to do 
one more exercise from the platform, from the manual, sorry. Okay, look, we have here an excerpt about the importance of evaluating the effects of training programs. Discuss the questions below with a partner. Training evaluation. The paragraph, the paragraph goes as follows. Training evaluation. Asking your employees what they thought of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. A training evaluation questionnaire that the trained trainees fill out upon completing the program is an effective tool. It may be an electronic survey through email, a checklist, or a questionnaire right after the training is over. A trainee survey focusing on the application of the new skills once your workers have started using them measures the effectiveness of the training program. Companies must combine such information with objective evaluation to get a complete picture of training results. Now, taking into an account the paragraph, you need to answer these two questions. What are some alternatives to evaluate training? How do you measure the effectiveness of the program? Why should companies combine the results of training and the evaluation of the training? Remember, we are in the manual in page number 40, exercise number two. I'm gonna send you to the groups again. You will have five minutes. It's very simple, just three questions. And I'm gonna share with you the image right now. What are some alternatives to evaluate training? Okay. Okay. Para evaluar capacitación, mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Okay. Asking to employees what they thought. Mm. Mm. develop. Uh, in this case, for example, develop development program. Is a real program. Okay. I don't know. In this case, uh, for example, develop program, and that could be, that could be one. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Okay. okay. Hmm. How do you measure the effective score of the program? Okay. 
I don't know. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Como, como se mide la eficacia del programa. How do you measure the effective of the program? Oh. For example, I could be a training evaluation questionnaire that the training is. Oh. Podría ser por medio de una evaluación de un cuestionario. Ok. Number two. Try. Evaluación. Cuestionario. Dice, we should company combine the result of training and the evaluation of the training. ¿Cómo podría la compañía combinar los resultados de las capacitaciones y las evaluaciones con los con la... Company must combine such information with our objective evaluation. To get a complete picture of training results. Mm -hmm. I understand to evaluate evaluate the um the employee that that he he have no he has learned what work he have to do he has to do let me see Oh, no. Um, in this case, uh, I think uh, number three. Oh, okay. <clears throat> number three. Uh, the company must combine such information with object evaluation to get a, a complete picture of training results. In this case, um, it could be, could be, com combine such information, in my opinion. Okay. <clears throat> what is your opinion? <clears throat>
Okay, guys. Let's see. Everybody's back. Well, 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 well. What are some alternatives to evaluate training? What you got for me there? And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Carlos Antonio. A training evaluation questionnaire the training fill out upon completing the program, it is effective too. Okay, perfect, thank you. How do you measure the effectiveness of a program, Marlon? Marlon Jonathan. Sorry, did you? What the question? Uh, number two. Yeah, the second question. The second question is... Um, I don't know, teacher. Uh, for the training uh, program, yeah. In this paragraph, this is a trainee a survey focusing on the application of the new skill on your workers have a start. Uh, have a start using them, yes, exactly that. Yes. Just remember, once. Using them, once. once. Yeah, once, once your workers. Yeah, a training once survey you... focusing on the application of the new skills once your workers have started using them measures the effectiveness of the training program. Perfect. Now, why should company uh, combine the results of training and the evaluation of the training? Why should they do it, uh, Ivan? Okay, uh, uh, these companies must combine such information with objective evaluation to get a complete picture or training result. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now let's see Magdaleno. Hello, how are you, mister? Hello, teacher. Very nice and great today. Uh, re, uh, teacher, I really forgot that today we finished the course. Oh, really? That's so bad. That's so bad. Yes, man. I really forgot. Forgot. Yeah, well, no worry. No, no problem. The good thing is that you're here. Now, I got a question for you. Tell me, in your opinion, what could be done to reduce violence? What do you think could it be done to reduce the, the influence of violence nowadays? What things could reduce violence? Yes. Okay. Okay, if you wanna if you wanna reduce violence, you have to reduce the I don't know how do you say vagancia in English. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, there's an expression for that. Mm. Okay. No, it's not it slow, work if you it say is, uh, lazy. No. No. No, it's another expression. You say, I mean, textually is vagrant. Vagrants. Vagrants. Okay, when it reduces no, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not. It's not. Bad. It's very vagrant. See, vagrant. Yeah, vagrant. Like this. Vagrant. Vagrants. 
Okay, vagrants. We and if we want uh, if we want to reduce the violence, we have to reduce the vagrants because if people have uh, things to do, for example, work, studies, they don't have time to to uh, to entry in some gangs gangs or other groups who who could do violence in our society society society, society. always society. society in our society this word all the time every time give me troubles okay in society and other thing is uh, for the uh, violence and the families you can i don't know i don't know <laughs> as a pastor okay. i can say search yes, for jesus me. as yeah, a pastor search for jesus in your family no no search hmm. let's see look for seek look for or look. seek seek is better okay seek. for for reduce violence in the family, you have to seek for Jesus. Okay. It's my my advice as a pastor, because I'm a pastor. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Our points of view always are related to what we do, how do we do it, or perhaps our profession. It's normal. Yeah everything every every point of view depends about the the glass the glass through what you are seeing yeah yeah i mean our point of view depends on how we look at stuff and how we look at stuff depends on many factors how we were raised the our culture our environment the, the things that we do, with whom do we spend time with? I mean, everything, everything uh, has an influence into it. Everything can add to it. Yes, is that we can have? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with you. Yes, is that? Well, guys, it's almost. Well, we are still five minutes. Thank you very much, Magdalena. We're still five minutes into almost getting to the to the end of the activities. Now, let's see. I have a couple, um, a couple of things that I would like to share with you. Well, that Magdalena, I think, is going to share with you. That is very interesting information. I get it. See, I mean, remember, guys, something very important for you that are, uh, I mean, we are going to be like one month, almost one month uh, without classes. Uh, something very important. Well, first of all, I expect all of you to send your paperwork. Remember, you still got that until the 9th, I guess. Creo que todavía tienen hasta el 9, ¿verdad? Para enviar sus documentos. Eh, don't forget to send them. Don't forget to send them. ¿O when was it? ¿Cuándo era la fecha? Let me check. It's night. Yeah, it's night January. No, but I mean... La fecha de inscripción final es el 9 de diciembre. Um. Lo voy a taggear nuevamente. 
en el grupo. Ahí está el mensaje. Este, no se les olvide que tenemos hasta el 9 de diciembre para enviar la documentación. Preguntemos a Human Resources. That's very important. And the thing is this, that if we, if everything goes according to the plan, we start January the 9th. That means that uh, it's going to be like one month for you without receiving classes. So now, the, 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 it's very important for you to pack. You need to pack. Okay. You need to pack. I have a question. Yes. Sure. I download the New York Times app. I don't know if that can help me to learn more vocabulary. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, I mean, thank you. Uh, whenever you are in the in the web, you can look for many, many different information that can be helpful for you, and that can make you like. Uh, practice more and understand more. And now that we are going into, into a part of time, into a moment where you are not going to be like in regular classes every day, it's very important that, that you get extra information, okay? That you get extra information and at least that you make a practice of, well, not a, pra a practice, a habit, of practicing every single day. I mean, you have been under an intensive course. And of course, for some of you, like, I mean, to listen to some people, like a group, like right here, speaking in English for two hours every day, has become something normal, like every day, right? We do it and it's simple. You get used to it. But the problem is that you're going to be without listening to English in a formal situation, like for one month. So what I advise you to do is practice, practice at least uh, 10 minutes a day, just 10 minutes. I mean, if you keep on practicing at least 10 minutes a day, you will make it. I mean, in January, you get to the next course and you will be like, okay, no problem. I mean, yes, of course, some abilities you need to, to restart again, but it's not going to be difficult. But if you stop today and restart until January, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, okay? So please take it into consideration, practice, dedicate at least 10 minutes. That's that's what's going to be to make a difference between you keeping on learning or you being slower to catch up in January. So take it into consideration. And if you got any doubt, don't worry. I mean, you're in vacation from here, but if you need any help, contact me. I'm here to help you, okay? If you need extra material, of course, I can help you. You can text me directly, just write your name, your full name, so I can remember who you are, okay? Guys, well, the time has come for me to get you to the final attenda. Carlos Antonio Serrano Ario. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. A pleasure to have you. Have, to have Thank you so you. much. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmo. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo, eh, Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you, Ivan. Nice meeting you. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez.
Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco de Charla Montano. Carla Listel García Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. A pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you for Thank you. everything. No, thanks to you, Mr. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdalena Escalante Orante. Present teacher. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. Yes, man, of course. Nelson Antonio Rodas. Present teacher. Thank you, Antonio. A pleasure. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Sweetie. Oscar Armando Romero. Present teacher. Thank you for everything. Help. No, thanks to you. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher, and thank you for all. No, thanks to you, Rosalina. Uh, Bill Magistani Alvarenga. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher, good night. Thank you, teacher. No, no problem, no problem. Keep on practicing, Wilfredo. Keep on practicing. Great teacher, thank you, teacher. Tio Mara Elizabeth Cisneros. Ivania Chamilet Dominguez. And Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez. Present teacher. Have a good night. Take care, Marlon. Keep on practicing. Guys, Thanks. it was a pleasure for me. It was a total pleasure. See you soon, I teacher. hope. See you soon. Teacher. Have a good have a good one. Yes, Orlando. Teacher, before you go, thank bye you bye. so much. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Happy Christmas. Okay. Bless you. Good night. Good night. In the new year. Good night. Good night. Good night. No problem. Teacher, can you hear me? I stay here. Yes, I can. I can. No problem. I stay here. No, I think that I have some issue with the connection, but I just want to thank you for all the classes that you are giving us and also because you are so patient with us, especially yeah, no problem. because we no are, problem. we have no some problem. issue with the speaking, all the things like you are so it's patient normal. with, with us and you are so kind with that. So thank you so much. You are a great teacher. You are doing really good your job. Congratulations for that. And also because you are not only teaching us just grammar, because I I have some trouble with that, but right now I just want to improve in my speaking, my listening, and your class is so great. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. You were a good group. That, well, that made it easy for me. Okay, let's see. Bye, Holman. Bye, Orlando. Thanks. Thanks for oh, thanks. all teachers. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. I appreciate it. Good night. Have a good night. Hey, the misfit. That's cool. Yeah, bye-bye. Antonio Rodas, I remember you were asking me for something. What was it, my friend? Okay, teacher. Eh, no, solo me gustaría de que este, me dijera de, en qué estoy fallando y cómo puedo hacer para mejorar los errores que estoy cometiendo. Lo que quiero practicar durante estos días. To be honest, uh, you're doing good. You're doing good. Uh, I mean, you're making uh, some mistakes, but are normal, are according to the level you are. I mean, according to the intermediate level, you are in the intermediate level. You are okay with it. And just keep on practicing the, the info that Magdalena sent. Mm -hmm. Keep on practicing on that. And that's all you need to do. Keep on listening, keep on making exercises. You are okay. For this level, you are exactly on the level. Okay. 
So what you need to improve? Okay. Yes, of course, listening, writing, but it's normal. It's not like uh, you need to make a special effort. You just need to keep on with the same commitment you have had up to now. Tiene que ponerle nada más el mismo empeño que le ha puesto hasta este momento y va bien. Usted está trabajando y expresándose con vocabulario, gramática, de acuerdo al nivel en el que estamos. Está perfecto. Ok. Solo eso era entonces, sí. teacher, y agradecerle sí, sí. No, por el no, soporte. No no. no, no, no hay problema. Sí, sí, es cierto. Hay que mejorar algunas cosas, pero las va a ir mejorando de acuerdo a los niveles. O sea, lo que necesita mejorar lo va a ir viendo en su momento. Ahorita lo único que yo le pido para este tiempo, este periodo que viene, es practicar nada más. Practicar para mantenerse al día, para no descontinuar el inglés. Eso es todo. Ok, teacher. Gracias entonces y espero verlo en los siguientes oh. niveles. Me too, me too. Have a good one. Ok, teacher. Take care. Take care. See you. See ya. Well, we just finished it, so that's it. See you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.